like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Mermaids have been a feature of fiction, stories, and movies, and people have wondered for centuries if they really existed. Look no further. Here, we have the proof that mermaids actually exist in the waters all around the world. Some of these pictures and videos of mermaids we are about to show you will leave you completely shocked. You'll definitely not believe what we have for you at number one. Let's get into it, shall we? Number 10. Tenchu Kusha Shrine, Japan There have been ongoing debates for hundreds of years about whether mermaids are real or not. Many sailors and fishermen have claimed to have seen mermaids and mermen and have been telling stories about them for centuries. The problem is that nobody has been able to prove they actually exist. People have taken photos of what they claim to be mermaids, but we do not have anything specific to compare it to, and there are no scientific research about their existence. In Japan, they have built a shrine to what they believe is the oldest mermaid ever. At Tenshio Kiyoshia Shrine in Fujima, Japan, there is a mummified fossil of what appears to be a mermaid and is believed to be 1400 years old. The legend says that a prince who fancied himself as a regular fisherman used to go fishing where he once encountered a mermaid, who gave him a curse that he wouldn't ever be able to catch a fish again. However, the mermaid also told him a way to lift the curse, which was to build a shrine for her. And now, 1400 years later, we still have a shrine intact in Japan. The mummified fossil present there looks like a weird creature with a tail, and we're not sure if it's really a mermaid. You be the judge. Number 9, Big Ben Power Plant, Mantatee Viewing Area. It kind of makes sense that mermaids would want to live in the waters among the adorable mantatees. In Apollo Beach, Florida, there is a mantatee viewing area right in front of the Big Bend Power Plant. In a picture taken at the mantatee viewing area by a visitor, you can appreciate a creature resembling a mermaid at the side of the picture. A lot of people have claimed to have seen mermaids swimming around in what is essentially a cesspool in South Florida. The manatees like it in there because the waste is dumped in. It makes the water seem nice and warm to them. Manatees love warm water, and apparently so do mermaids. But we can't imagine why a beautiful creature like a mermaid would want to swim around a place where the waste is dumped. But you never know, they might just like hanging around with the manatees. Number 8, Fiji Mermaid in the National Museum in Vermont. If you have an interest in creepy fossils, you must have a look at the Fiji Mermaid in the National Museum in Grafton, Vermont. This classic Fiji Mermaid was found in a fraternal lodge in Vermont and was transferred to the National Museum. This ugly creature has all the characteristics of a Barnum hybrid, with all sorts of animal carts combined to form one ugly looking creature has the tail of a fish that we'd expect to see in a classic mermaid, and the torso and head of a juvenile monkey. One weird feature of this mermaid is that it has a mustache. Now, we do not have much research or evidence if mermaids could actually have a mustache, but it, uh, it could always be a merman, right? A lot of researchers say that it's just a monkey, not a mermaid. But if that's the case, then what kind of monkey has a fish-like tail? The museum, however, doesn't keep the mermaid out at all times, it keeps it safe in their basement, and only brings it out to display at a special occasion. We could imagine why. It's so ugly and so creepy that it would scare away small children and other visitors. And nobody wants a creepy little creature to ruin their trip. Number 7. Jeju Mermaid Okay, they might not technically be mermaids, but these women have become a staple in Jeju Sea Islands in South Korea. These women are called the Henio, and they are responsible for community's fishing duties. These women are such experts in fishing, they can deep dive in sea waters and catch fish with their own hands. Most women that do this are older in age, and the younger lot does not show much interest in carrying out the traditions of Henio. And we don't blame them, who would want to spend their entire day swimming in waters and catching fish? for everyone, as the younger generation in South Korea has much higher hopes for themselves. While the older lot carrying out the Henio tradition are called mermaids because of their diving motion and their ability to catch fish with their own hands. They also resemble mermaids as they glide across the waters wearing their fishing gear. Finally, this next video shows us that men can be mermaids too, so keep watching.
Number six, Banff Mermaid. This mermaid located in Banff, Canada may be natural or could be man-made. We just don't know for sure. It has a classic Fiji mermaid tail and a human body and is undoubtedly one of the ugliest creatures we've seen. It has a lower body resembling that of a silverfish with a scaly texture that appears to be peeling. He's kept in a glass aquarium in a Canadian shop. This merman is what we've been imagining when we hear of mermaids. But there's nothing beautiful about it though. There's been speculation and rumor that the owner of this Canadian shop where the mermaid is displayed created the skeleton himself. But he claims that it's real, and even displayed a brief history about the mermaid right next to its case. You can tell us what you think about this one, real or fake? Number 5. Wiki Wachi Florida seems to be at home for a lot of mermaids. And if you're in the Wikiwachi area of Florida, you have to check out these mermaids. This area is known as the City of Mermaids because of its live mermaid performances. These may not be actual mermaids, but they have been performing in there since 1947. These women in the Wikiwachi resemble the idea of mermaids that we usually have. Long flowing hair, beautiful faces, and sleek and shiny bodies. They perform underwater for audiences gliding through the waters, and they're in tanks with scuba gear in case of emergency. They have an incredible ability to hold their breath as they perform for several minutes underwater for each round. The cool thing is that the mayor of Wikiwachi used to be a mermaid performer herself. So, we have a mermaid mayor for a city named after mermaids. Isn't that awesome? Number four, The Little Mermaid. We've all watched the movie The Little Mermaid several times, whether our kids made us watch it on repeat or we loved it ourselves, and so everybody knows who Ariel is. The strange thing is that long before the movie was released, there had been a statue. If you ever visit Copenhagen, Denmark, you see the statue entitled The Little Mermaid. This piece was inspired by storyteller Hans Christian Andersen. We all know Anderson was the country's biggest claim to fame. This story of his was about a mermaid who fell in love with the human world and had decided that rather than stay in the mermaid world, to follow her dreams and live in the real world. The statue, however, resembles the idea we generally have about mermaids. With beautiful, flowy hair, human-like facial features, and a fish-like body with a traditional mermaid tail. It may not be alive, but it's worth a mention on our list. Number 3, Vicky Smith. Let's go back to Wikiwachi to visit the oldest mermaid living on Earth. Vicky Smith was one of the first women to perform as a mermaid in Wikiwachi, Florida. She started working as a mermaid performer two days after she completed high school back in 1957, when she was just 17. She serves as the monarch of the legendary sirens of Wikiwachi Springs. These women are mostly in their 60s or 70s and get together to perform for the town. The Smith says that it's unlike what we imagine of the mermaids. They do not put on a lot of makeup and all she's ever done to get in the character is put on a suit and get into the water. At the age of 78, Smith still enjoys performing as a mermaid and is known as the oldest performer in Florida. Back in 1957, she says that they used to get $3 for a show, but mermaids now and yet get $10 per hour, which is not bad for wearing a fancy dress and becoming a mermaid of your dreams. Number two, Camden Aquarium. Camden, New Jersey is known for a lot of things, but mermaids are not one of them. Crimes and scary neighborhoods, yes, but mermaids, what are you talking about? However, Camden Waterfront is one of the most beautiful areas in New Jersey, with battleships and beautiful aquariums inside which you'd find swimming mermaids. You can go and watch mermaids swimming in the giant tank. You can even arrange meetings with a real life mermaid. You can also talk to them about what it's like to be a mermaid. You also can have a VIP tour of the mermaid lair. And you can visit the aquarium Stingray Beach Club, where the mermaids take a break from swimming and relax by the water. Isn't it amazing? Now it's time for the best one, as we save the best for last. People love visiting Coney Island in New York. Known for its adventurous roller coaster rides, amazing hot dogs, and Coney Island is also known for its mermaid festival. Every year, Coney Island holds a mermaid parade where hundreds of real-life mermaids get to show off their beauty. People from around the world visit Coney Island during this time of year to dress up in their mermaid costumes. There is a huge carnival atmosphere throughout the island, and there's a lot of cool food stalls and fun stuff for the crowd and mermaids. They've been holding this carnival for 38 years now. And no matter who you are, boy, girl, a kid, you can become a part of it. All you need is to be a mermaid at heart. 
Have you ever witnessed a mermaid in real life? Let us know in the comments. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fun videos.